Welcome to a simulation video. This is based on the CompTIA T20 1102 exam, this time software based. I'll be doing some command prompt videos for the software side of the exam. It is a performance based question. It's drag and drop. Okay, here's a task. You are tasked with using a command prompt, pretty basic task. Uh, instructions drag the item to the drop. All items will be used. So, this is a very basic introductory fundamental video about how to use a command prompt for file commands. So if you already know this, it might be a little bit boring. If you've never touched a command prompt, it might be an interesting video. Okay, let's go over to my Windows 11 machine. Cool. So in this video, we're going to take a look at these commands. Um, let's make them a little bigger. There we go. So I'm going to write out what they stand for. Uh, you may know some of these commands. Maybe you don't. Let's follow along and see how much you know. So we have change directory or CD. Okay, next command is uh, dir. So we got CD, then we got dir. Uh, dir just stands for directory. Or some people even say DIR. I don't know. Uh, but then you got all these IT tech saying dir, dir, dir. It's kind of a joke. Okay, copy. Um, well, copy is a copy command. Copy is a file. Okay, we'll learn how to use that in the syntax. This stands for make. DIR, what is that? Uh, uh, directory. And then uh, RM is remove. Remove directory. Okay, so those are what they stand for. Great. Let's clear my screen here. Uh, you can see like the Windows files and folders that a user has. Probably a lot of the things you'll be responsible for maybe helping a user with or like their desktop or their downloads or documents, something like that. Okay, so the first command I want to teach you is change directory. So let's change directory to the documents folder. Okay, now you'll see that I'm no longer in Coach Mikey. I'm now in Coach Mikey backslash documents. All right, next on the list is the dir or the directory command. So now you can see all the files that I have inside the documents folder. Uh, if we get the GUI open, the graphical user, user interface, yeah, we can see those same things here. Cool. Uh, all right, next, um, what do we have? Copy, I think it was. Yeah, so let's copy a file. If I can really type this out and remember it, it's gonna be a miracle. Okay, here we go. Uh, Coach Mikey. I think I had a file called backup.txt. So let's see if we can copy that to our users folder that we're in right now in the document, documents folder, document, documents. I think I moved that file. I think I deleted it. Yeah, I okay. Where did we go wrong here? So backup, I did make that directory. Oh, it's called work. Okay, so let's try that again one more time with just work.txt. And I have it here already, so I'm kind of just going to delete that. Let's just say I didn't have that and I needed to copy a file from this folder to this folder. There you go. It says one file copied. Great. You can see that work is now there. Um, okay. Make a directory. So change directory, we know changes to the directory and then we have to say the place, but I use dot dot a lot, like all the time. And that just brings you back a directory. So now we're in the root of Coach Mikey. Okay, make directory. I don't know, what do we want to call this directory? Um, let's just call it YouTube. Okay, make directory YouTube. Now you see I have a YouTube folder. Cool. So you can make directories that way. And you press up on your command prompt. You can see it actually remembers your history. So I don't have to type all this out. Isn't that nice? Okay, RM or remove directory. And now that YouTube directory is removed. So it's a little tutorial. You should open a command prompt, play around with it, and uh, just start making files and deleting files and moving them around. Okay, let's go to the task. So First one we have is a DIR. What does that stand for? Directory. 
So if I looked at the directory of Coach Mikey, I would see probably a lot of different things. Here's a backup. Here's the documents. Oh, that is uh, probably the one we want. Look at all the different user files that you have for that Coach Mikey, Mikey profile. Okay, so DIR, go into this question mark. Credit uh, goes to Super Mario Brothers for this video. Okay, next one, we have copy. So we're gonna copy, what are we copying here? Do you remember the command? Do you remember the syntax? First, we have to say the name of the file, copy, and then where it's going. So we need to find work.txt in the backup folder. Do you see that anywhere? Which picture is that? Oh, let's go from the bottom here. Is it just backup? No, we don't see work.txt. Okay, we eliminated that. Uh, we do see work txt here, but uh, it's not in the backup folder. Ah, this one's the backup folder. Okay, great. So let's move that over. We've just eliminated two of our answers. Next, make directory backup. Okay, so where do you see the directory backup? Is it in the documents folder? No, here, C users, Coach Mikey backup. Okay, so yeah, we just made a backup folder there. That would do the trick. And now we only have one left. We can eliminate. Cool. So I hope you learned some basic commands about Windows file copy and file commands and making directories, browsing directories, removing directories, copying files. We will learn more advanced stuff like xcopy and other command lines that you'll use when you're doing administrative tasks like finding folders or deleting them or copying things. Okay, thank you for watching. Good luck in your studies.